Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissuri, salam alaikum. Welcome to the channel, y'all. So we're here with another part with Silly Sid123, Gaz to his friends. Hello. And we have got the Hoover Junior basically all put back together. What we have to do now is give it a polish, shine it up, wipe the handles over, put the bag together, put it all together, excuse me, and give it a demo. So we are here armed with our cups of tea. Mm. Which Dorian has made and uh, oh, very nice. And now we are ready to crack on with the last part of this Hoover Junior U. 1012. 1012. Um, so first of all, I need to clean up the bench and put stuff away, get all the polishing gear out, and then we will crack on and give this a good polish. So we'll see you guys in a second. Okay, you guys, we are ready for the polishing, which is one of my favorite parts uh, to do with these machines. So I've got everything ready and uh, let's crack on. First of all, rule number one, never polish on a dry sponge. Always just make it ever so slightly damp because you can burn the plastic. Okay, well, friction, isn't it? Yeah. So there we go, I've moistened my sponge. I've got my Chemical Guys V36. That is what we're gonna be using for the polishing. Don't need a huge amount. I'm just gonna smear this over my sponge. Right, I've smeared, I'm ready. The gloves are going on. Let's get polishing. That is really good handle base. Isn't it? I'm just gonna dab it all over. Dabby dabby dab. Okay, let's.
There we go guys, that is the polishing over and done. I'm now gonna spray it with some of that. God, that smells so nice. I do love the smell of that. If this was smell vision viewers, you would have oh. liked this. to a showroom model now. I wish we'd had the time to retrobrite it, but it's une it's even, so you can't really tell, to be honest. It still shines really, really good. Yeah, it's not, not too bad, is it? Yeah, not too shabby at all, my friend. One last squirt, and we get the nice cloths out of this. And really nice, thick, buffy ones. Now the polishing is not going to remove the deep scratches, 
I think it's really nice to keep its patina because you know it's got history, it's been yeah. used, but it now shines. <laughs> wow, look at this. It's an old girl, a bit scratched, but it just looks really good. And the final thing, the piece de resistance. Let's get its bumper on. Look at that, look at that. There we go. Hey. And now it's got his bumper on. I think it's the right way, it is the right way, isn't it? Yeah, because that's the big noggin. Okay. There we go. Polished. Now the next thing we have to do is we're not doing anything to the handles because the paint on them is so fragile. That's all that we are going to do. Well, they're in good condition now, aren't they? Doing yes, well? oh, they are in really good condition. That's why I don't particularly want to do anything to them. So if I give you a cloth, and I have a cloth, and you wipe over one. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh. And you wipe over one, and I'll wipe over the other. Yeah. <clears throat> Just to freshen it up. They went to the plastic hooks on these, unfortunately. Yeah. The uh, 70s and the 80s ones were mainly all plastic. Uh, there was only a few parts left on them that were metal, uh, such as the uh, 58 and six, uh, 60s. Yeah, because even the, the, the plate went to plastic in the end. Yeah. Which was good for me because I was able to remove it easily for when I was doing a complete refurb on, on one yeah. recently. But, um, yeah, you can just see how they just tried to save pennies every which way yeah. they could unfortunately just when they changed over to the turbo powers the turbo power one um that was um it was really really cheap plastic mm. i mean there's not many they're just so bloody brittle and then when they went on to the Turbo Power 2 and 3, I, they went into a sort of like a better, thicker plastic again. Mm. The first pure, pure Power that I got there that came out. Plastic on, it's a bit shonky, but it's a lot better than the ones that they make now. Just, just spray painted black plastic now. Yeah. So there we go. As you can see, that's all we needed for the handles, just to give them a bit of a shine up. Oh, good difference. So we're going to move that to one side. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. And the next thing we're going to be working on is the bag, which looks amazing. I have to admit. So I am going to need my little pot of grease and we are just going to grease the inside of this to give it a good seal. Pull this into place. There we go. And there we go, that's that. And then the top fill, which goes like that. No, I'm 
just go in that way then. It's gonna go in like that. Yeah, that's the right way. Yeah, it is, yeah. Take the screw. I'm not going to screw it up tight yet until it's on. So there we go. Now I'm going to attach the um, treasury tag to the hook on the inside of the bag. This one here. This is the treasury hook. Depends if it has one. Oh, actually, there's no yeah. thing for this to clip onto. Ah. The same I found on your um, U1036 as well, that hasn't got a treasury on the inside. Just just holds on on the inside. It would have originally. Yeah, it will have originally, right? Why is it? Because the treasury tag wasn't on this. The treasury tag always stayed in the bag. Yeah, it doesn't exist. Not there. <coughs> How strange! But never mind. Not to worry. Not to worry, we will leave it on there anyway because it's part of it. So there we go, that is the bag. Now I need to sort out the inner bag, so bear with me a moment. Right, you guys, we're on the last leg now. We are at the point where we are putting the bag on the inside and I've got a genuine original single layer crappy paper bag. But it looks, you know, it's going to give the look of originality. But we are going to be doing my hack of putting in the fake Siebel bag on the inside. Because if you don't, it'll end up coming back to Hoover Lux covered in dust and dirt and exploding. So... I know that so many purists will hate this idea, but the truth of the matter is, it's these bags that ruined the vacuum cleaners from the very beginning, because they just do not hold the dust properly. They split easily and everything. So what we're gonna be doing is my hack with the SIBO bag in the inside. So you are not going to see the SIBO bag, but you are having that protection that you could use this machine as your daily driver every single day. And when you open up the machine, that's all you're going to see is the original paper bag. But inside you will have the protection of the Siebel bag. And then you can just replace this bag. This will stay in mint condition and you can use it again and again and again and again. So, to all you purists out there, tough. <laughs> <laughs> It's a right. really great idea. I think it's brilliant. Well, it just... Oh, I know I get on my high horse about it, but I've refurbed enough of these to know exactly what bloody state they get into mm. on the inside. And it's just such a shame. I mean, this is the reason why James Dyson invented those bagless things. Right. Getting the paper bag on this is always a bugger. Getting a SIBO paper bag on it is even more fun. <laughs> How many of these hacks have you done on vacuum cleaners? And on these, bags? every single refurb of a junior that I do, all my juniors have okay. them. Simply because I don't want them getting wrecked. And the bags aren't expensive. No. And you don't have to buy the genuine Siebel bags, the fake ones will do fine. But that now is guaranteed not to let wow. any dirt through. <laughs> and you can use it as your daily driver. Okay, yes. So do you like air fresheners in your machines or no? Um, some people do, some people don't. Um, no. No? Cool. Now, there is a tear on this zip, but I'm sure Mother Silly Sid we'll be able to sort that out. Yep. So there we go. The bag is now complete. The rest of the assembly, I'm gonna to leave to you because it's nice for you to put it all back together yes. yourself. 
Yes, indeed, <clears throat> right. And I'm going to be your cameraman. Now, this wasn't intentional, but for some reason, Gareth matches the machine with what he's wearing, which was my my fleecy jacket because he was feeling a bit cold last night and it was only recently that today that I realized that you were matching it yes it uh, doesn't suit me quite well but it does suit the vacuum it does suit the vacuum cleaner for some reason we've matched it accidentally gosh I'm looking at the lens now looking at watching you and it shines yeah it's beautiful isn't it so amazing so the bottom part of the handle is now being fitted in. That will require tightening up. Oh, there's a screwdriver just for there, left out, that red one. Where's the screw and bolt for that one? Uh, that kid, that wasn't on when it came. Was it not? No, no, it was in the bag. Hang on a second. Right, problem found, it was actually left on the hook. I'd left it all together. So that we wouldn't lose it. Yes. We, we wouldn't have to go look for it and that we wouldn't have to worry about it. And then we worry about it because we forgot yes. about it. Oh, it's only human nature. Hmm. Yeah, so, um, absolutely. Amazing job Hoover Looks has done on this. Um, it just I'm, looks so shiny. I'm so over the moon with it. It looks so much better. I mean, we, I, I just wouldn't even have wanted to switch it on. Not in that condition. It's, it's no. no. Chance. Now just loosen this screw. So it and the good thing about when they did do the top fill bag is that when you wanted to empty the bag, you didn't have to take off the bellows and have dust fall out all over it. So it was definitely an improvement having a top fill. Definitely. Okay. It's putting up with a fight with us. Wow, it looks so good. I'm so proud to own it. <laughs> Excuse my wonky filming. My tripod's trying to kill me. They do come on. That should go on now. Okay, so, that did take two hands, but... We're just uh, screwing around at the minute. Uh, psh, ba -da -boom. I think that'll do. Shame it don't go all the way to the bottom, is it? But there you go. Mm. Right, okay, let's move this towel out of the way. Let's switch it on. Okie dokie. Oh, listen to that growl. <laughs> Like the actors. Yeah. <laughs> it's picking the carpet over, isn't it? Beating out the sweeping. 
Wow. 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 Right, I think we need to give this a demo, but I think we'll do it in the living room on the rug. Let's give it a really, really nice demo. So let's go in and let's give it a go. So we are here in the living room. Silly Sid is there with his Hoover Junior, which now looks so good. And I thought that we would give it a proper demo, but on this rug that we have here, uh, we're going to do a little bit of a mess test with it. We've only got, uh, we're going to use a little bit of gay mess and we're going to use a little bit of sawdust um, so that we can see how it picks up and how it vibrates on the carpet. So we're going to get it plugged in. I'm going to get the mess down and we will do the demo. Okay. Okay, so we've got it plugged in. Let's, oh, what's the height on it? Hmm? What's the height setting? Or do you want it on low low? Uh, no, I think second would be fine, to be honest. Or maybe even third, so we could see it... Um, yeah, because that's... Vibrating. Where's the brush? That's not touching the floor. Just one from the top, is that it? Is, that's yeah. the we'll give it a go anyway, let's see. Okay, here goes. That was really good. I'm going to have a little go myself. Hang on a second. Okay. Are you now ticking my head? <laughs> Wow, that is fantastic. 
Right, okay, I think we'll finish off the video now. Yeah. So there we go, my little whippersnappers. I hope you've enjoyed this series working on this Hoover Junior. It was a little bit touch and go at time, but we did manage to finally get it together and it is now looking fantastic. So I hope you've enjoyed. So please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. Go and check out Gareth's channel, Silly Sid123. Go and subscribe and comment. And uh, yeah, please go and check it out. So on behalf of me and on behalf of Gareth, I'd like to say thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to work on this machine. Um, it's definitely been fun having you here and doing the videos. Uh, Gareth is going to be doing some videos of his own upstairs with the other Hoover Juniors, which we're going to do now. So go and check out his channel and you'll see what he got up to. So thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. Share the videos through social media. That helps me a lot. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye, y'all.